Hey everyone, Justin here for the Build Course Wellness Center, coming at you with your workout of the day. For today's workout, we're going to do a triple AMRAP workout where we're going to have three different, as many reps as possible sets that are each going to last six minutes. Within each of these AMRAP sets, you've got three exercises that you're going to be completing for a given amount of reps. They're listed down in the description, um, but let's go ahead and go over them real quick. And then I'll let you get to it. So for the first six minute AMRAP, you're starting that clock, you're getting your equipment ready before you start the clock. You're gonna need some sort of weight implement. Um, either use a weighted backpack, like I've got here, I've got like a little duffel bag, or if you've got dumbbells or a kettlebell, that works as well. Um, I'll show you how to use both. Um, and so for the first AMRAP, the first exercise is going to be an overhead hold walking lunge. And so if you've got the bag, you're going to be positioning it with it over your head. I'm going to make sure that when I step, I'm taking a wide enough step and my toe is pointed directly forwards so that when I come down and I sink down and try to get a 90 degree bend with that knee, my heel isn't coming off the floor. And then I'm stepping right through for the next one. Elbows are locked overhead, core is tight. Try not to bend the elbows. That's gonna fatigue the arms really quickly and chances are you're not gonna get your 10 steps on each leg as you're doing those walking lunges. Of course, if you've got dumbbells, they're gonna come overhead as you do your walking lunges. If you wanna make it harder, Try to flow directly through like I just did <clears throat> to make it a little easier and less difficulty balancing. You can do your lunge, come up, reset, and then step into the next one. So once you've done 10 walking lunges with the overhead hold, then you're gonna move to the second exercise, which is a push-up to a side hop in a plank position. And so, it's gonna look like this, we're doing 10 of these as well. I'm doing a push-up, glutes are tight, ribs and hips are close together. I'm bracing the core. I'm gonna do a push-up, and I'm gonna jump the feet to one side, back out, to the other side, back out, and that's one. So all together it's gonna look like this, push-up, side hop, side hop, push-up, side hop, side hop, that would have been two, I'm doing 10. Once I've got 10 of those, my third and final task for the first AMRAP are gonna be Superman, a Superman variation. And so we're going to use whatever weight implement you had. The bigger, the better. So if you've got a ball or something, that'd be great. Or if you're using a bag, that'd be perfect as well. But if you just have a dumbbell or kettlebell, definitely use that as well. What you wanna do is put it above your head, and we're gonna lay down on our stomach. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna start with my hips extended, keep the glutes squeezed the whole time. And then I'm going to take my arms, elbows straight, Superman up over. So we're doing crossovers here. Every back and forth is one. We're shooting for 10. Turn your sight down towards the floor a little bit. Don't crank your neck as you're doing these. So you should really feel it big time in the middle back and a little bit in the lower back. If you're squeezing those glutes though, is you're really gonna feel it more in the thoracic or the middle back. Once you've got 10 on each side with, the, with those Superman crossovers, that, that, those are your three tasks for that first AMRAP. So you'll run through that as many times as you can in six minutes. When that timer goes off and six minutes has passed, you're gonna rest 90 seconds before you go into the next AMRAP. This one's another six minutes. Your first task is gonna be a deck squat to a tuck jump and we're doing six of these. The way it's gonna look is we're going to Squat down, work our way towards the floor, 
Come up to our back. Try to stand up. If you want to go no hands, that's going to be the hardest. Otherwise, use your hands to push you up. And then we're tuck jumping. And back down. Rolling up. Tuck jump. Six of those. If you wanted to make it a little easier, work your way down. Use both hands to get you back up. Squat, and then tap. You'll do two to make up for the tuck jump. Once you've got six of those, then you're going to move to your second task. And so for the second task of this second AMRAP, we're going to do lateral bear crawls. So we're going to get into a position that allows us to go about 10 feet. And then we are keeping the knees at a 90 degree angle. They're up off the floor. I want to try to stay as tight as I can in the midsection as I walk 10 feet to the left, 10 feet to the right. We're going four of these. So it'd be one down and back is two and you are doing four. Once you've completed those, you're moving to your final exercise of the second AMRAP which is going to be a straight leg sit up. So legs are straight, sit up, use those arms to help create some momentum. When I tap my toes and I start going back down, the legs are going to come up and then I'm going to do a V up. We're doing 10 of these straight leg sit up, roll back. Once that low back hits the floor, legs come up and you're reaching for them. Do one more for you. That is your straight leg sit up to V up. So to review that one, your three tasks for AMRAP three are your deck squat to tuck jump for six. Then you're moving to your 10 foot lateral bear crawl going down and back twice. Uh, then your final task is the straight leg sit up to V up for 10 reps of each. Once you finish those, rest as needed, but push yourself. You've only got six minutes to suffer here, so knock out as many rounds of that as you can. Once you finish with that, rest another 90 seconds, grab some water, and then get ready for the third and final AMRAP, which is another six minutes. So set that timer again. Your first exercise for the third AMRAP is going to be jump rope singles. So even if you don't have a jump rope, just act like you got one. We're doing 50 little hops. Once you've got 50 little hops, you're going to move to the second exercise, which is a ground to overhead. And so take whatever weight implement you used in that first AMRAP, and we're going to hinge at the hips so kind of like a deadlift. I want to drive the floor away from me as I snatch it overhead. 10 of these going straight from the ground to overhead, making sure that I'm keeping the back flat, chest stays up. If you're using dumbbells, you're gonna go dumbbells inside. I'm gonna hinge, I'm gonna drive the floor away from me as I bring them directly overhead. Inhale, exhale as you drive and snatch those dumbbells over your head. Same thing if you had kettlebells. And if you only have one kettlebell, then that ground to overhead is going to look like this. You're going to grab the horns. Again, hips are back, chest is up. I'm thrusting overhead. Back to the floor 10 times. And then your third and final move for this last AMRAP is going to be a glute bridge to a floor row. So you're going to work your way to your back, feet are hip width apart. We're going to drive through the heels to bridge the butt up into a glute bridge. When I come down, driving the floor away from me. 
with my elbows. That's one. There's two. I'm doing 10. So to review that third and final AMRAP, you're looking at 50 jump rope singles. Then you're moving to ground to overhead for 10 reps. And then you're finishing with the glute bridge to floor row, 10 of each. Once you've got that done, rest again, and then decide whether you want to make this a roughly 20 minute workout or a 40 minute workout. If you already toast after the first, uh, first round of doing all three, then by all means, you got a good workout in. Stop there. If you're looking for a little more, I want you to rest 90 seconds, take it back through that same sequence of AMRAP 1, 2, and 3 for a total workout time of roughly 43 minutes. So hopefully that did a good job of explaining everything. If you need it in written form, as I said, check the description below. Otherwise, have at it and be sure to let me know how it goes.